Hello everyone, I'm Modi here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this will be a continuation of Ray Sessor end-to-end framework playlist video series. So in the last video, I explained how can we compare two objects in Java and we learned that we need to override the equals and hash code method. So there's no need to override those methods manually. We can use the annotation provided by Lombok project which is called add equals and hash code and this will automatically help you to compare two POJO objects. Now, I will show you that how can we implement or how can I use this concept in our test cases. I will go to airline test.java and I will create a new method and I will copy and I will comment the previous one. Let me remove all these codes and I will name it create airline and verify response. So what I am trying to achieve here, if you see the test execution report, here I want whatever values i am passing as part of payload same values are coming in response or not so let me generate the default payload let me copy the same code whatever we have already learned so one way you have you what you can do first way you can write the json path maybe like assert dot assert equals and i can write response dot json path dot get string maybe I can compare the name and we can pass the expected which is I am storing the payload object right payload dot get name so the same thing you need to do for all the objects Maybe if you have nested one, then again, you need to go and write the JSON path for each and every field. Okay. So this is one way, but this is hectic. Why? Because we can use some different approach here. If you see the carefully, whatever fields we have here, same fields we have here also, but we have two fields extra. So can I use the same payload, same payload object or payload POJO object? To compare the response here, yes, we can do. But to achieve that, I need to pass this response to my POJO, which is airline class. So that we can do. We can use object mapper from Jackson library. So let me create an object of object mapper class. And we have one method called read value. And here you need to pass the body. So to get the body, we can use the response dot get body. And I will call the edge string. Then I can pass it to or deserialize it to airline class. How can we do it? Because fields are matching, right? We have only two extra fields. So I have passed it here. And it will return you the return you the same object type. So a line, and I will I will name it as create a line response. Now what I'm going to do? I am going to use the assert dot assert equals, and here I will pass response. create airline response object and we have payload. So now we have two objects of the same POJO class airline. So this I pass as a request and this I am getting after deserializing the JSON response. And what I am comparing like both the objects should be same. But before that, we need to go to airline POJO class and here I need to add annotation, right? Which annotation equals and has code. Why? Because if I want to compare two POJO objects are same or not, we need to override the equals and has code method. And this can be done using the Lombok project. And this I have already explained in detail in my previous video. If not watched, please go and watch that. Let me run the test case and still I will get the error and let me show you that error and I will show you that how can we fix that. So let me run the program quickly using the Maven runner. Okay, you can see test case failed. That is obvious why. Let me show you the error. If you come here and read through the errors, you can see here it is saying that create a line and verify response. Line number 37 it is failing here. 
इट इज सींग दैट वी हैव अनिकग्नाइज प्रॉपर्टी अनिकग्नाइज फील्ड अंडरस्कोर आई डी एंड नॉट नॉट मार्क डेज इग्नोरेबल वाई बिकॉज इफ यू सी द रिस्पॉन्स वी हैव टू एक्स्ट्रा फील्ड साइट अंडरस्कोर आई डी एंड अंडरस्कोर वी ए सो वेन जैक्स इज टैंक टू डिसलाइज दिस जैक्सन रिस्पॉन्स टू पोजो एयरलाइन पोजो देन इट इज कंप्लेनिंग दैट आई फाउंड टू अनिकग्नाइज प्रॉपर्टीज सो आई कैन नॉट डिसलाइज इट दैट्स वाई इट इज गिविंग यू एन एरर इट इज कॉल्ड अनिकग्नाइज प्रॉपर्टी अनिकग्नाइज फील्ड इफ यू सी द एक्सेप्शन इट इज कॉल्ड अनिकग्नाइज प्रॉपर्टी एक्सेप्शन सो इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू नीड टू इंक्लूड ऑल द फील्ड इन योर पोजो क्लास बिकॉज सपोज इफ एनी रिस्पॉन्स हैज हंड्रेड फील्ड यू कैन नॉट गो एंड सिंपली एड ऑल दो हंड्रेड फील्ड यू मे नीड टू ओनली इंक्लूड विच इज यू विच यू वॉन्ट टू वेलिडेट सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू इग्नोर द अनोन प्रॉपर्टी और अनरिकग्नाइज प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर दैट यू नीड टू गो टू एयरलाइन एंड यू नीड टू यूज वन एनोटेशन एंड दैट एनोटेशन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम जैक्सन एंड द नेम इज Jason ignore properties, and here you need to pass one field called ignore unknown equal to true. So what it what it will do whenever Jackson is trying to deserialize the J the Jason object to Java object or Pojo object, then it will simply ignore the unrecognized field or unknown fields. So let me run the test case again, and let me show you the output. Now you can see build is successful, right? And we are able to validate that response contain the same data whatever we pass as part of payload. So whenever we are writing the validation, we need to find the better way to compare or assert the result. Okay? Here I found that in the response I am getting the same data whatever I pass as payload. So let's compare the Pojo object by deserializing the response to the same Pojo. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with others. Thank you, everyone.